like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 74 says, what is the value of f of zero in this function? Uh, I'm not even gonna bother reading that, it's kind of a long function. Um, but basically, if we wanna calculate f of zero, that just means we need to substitute in zero everywhere where we see x. So let's go ahead and, first of all, just type this whole thing in. Now, if you're using a calculator, and I definitely recommend it on this one, just type the whole thing in your calculator. The one thing that you need to know here um, is that when this is log base 10, if your scientific calculator doesn't let you type in uh, the base here, all is not lost. Um, log base 10 is equivalent to just writing log. So if you see log without, the, without a number here, without a base, it's assumed to be 10 anyway. It's actually kind of unconventional that they would, type, that would, they would write a 10 here at all. But, um, but anyway, yeah, your, your calculator should have a log button where it just says log, and you can just use that. Just type in log 10. Um, so anyway, we can do this without a calculator. Log base 10 of 10 just equals 1, because 10 to the first power is 1. So this thing is just 1. 9 to the 0th power is also 1. 0 minus 2 is just negative 2. So we have plus negative 2 times uh, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So following the order of operations, we've got negative 2 times negative 1 uh, is just positive 2. And so we have 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. So our answer here is 4. Again, use the calculator. There's no reason why you need to risk messing up the order of operations and forgetting a negative or not knowing that 9 to the 0 is 1. You're better off just typing in this whole equation without, in the scientific calculator. Again, you're not going to type the little 10 base here. and just be log 10 plus, and then you can just type in the rest exactly how it looks. So, um, yeah, that's it for number 74. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.